Well, Thurla is a tr truly Italian brand that was born in 1927, and it is a family brand. It started in Bologna in 1955. There were three children. There was Carlo, Paolo and Giovanna, and Signora Giovanna is still in the business today as the president of the company. We have our heritage head office in Bologna, which is in the 18th century Renaissance Villa, and then we also have a showroom and five, five full offices in the Palazzo in Milan. I joined Fuller in 2011 where we had 30 locations and I'm delighted to say up to this date uh, we now have 300 so you can see the immense growth in travel retail. The official company figures, um, as you can appreciate we are a family company so we issue our annual figures and um, the official company figures in 2017 saw 14.5% growth on turnover. Um, which is extremely helpful, you know, very, very helpful. And we are extremely confident for a similar result in 2018. Thurla um, is about innovation, it's about new styles, it's about colours, and it is a brand that is affordable for everybody, and it's inclusive luxury. It's, it is renowned for its colour. We are a true lifestyle brand, um, with the, and with the exception of ready to wear. We have large leather goods, which are our handbags, we have the accessories, which come from purses to um, cosmetic cases. We have shoulder bags, crossbody bags, so we have a whole collection. But we also have sunglasses, um, scarves, and watches. So we have you know, quite a wide range on that. So this is why we say we are a lifestyle brand. Well, Furla continues to, to fully support global, global travel retail as a channel. Our business is multi-channel because we have wholesale, we have our own retail stores, we also operate in department stores. But with Duty Free, again, we cover all the sectors, airlines, cruising, airports, down, down, Duty Free. And this is fully supported by the company. And they see that as a very, very important um, feature of, 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 as a channel as part of the company. Um, when it comes to... The, the biggest region, then it has to be Asia Pacific. You know, we've seen a 50% growth in Asia Pacific, followed by continuous growth within EMEA. And I think the, the biggest challenge to us is now the Americas. We are in the Americas and we're doing very well. Um, we're expanding on domestic and we're also expanding quite rapidly on travel retail. And on the Americas, we've seen a 30% growth versus last year. So this, I think, is our biggest challenge, is to do the Americas. And when I say the Americas, I mean from North to South, to the Caribbean, to Latin and Central America. So this will be our focus for, you know, the next year. I see Furla constantly evolving. I've been with the company, say, seven and a half years, and um, it has been a total change from when I joined to, it has always been a colorful brand. It's, you know, it's a true heritage Italian brand, so it's known for that. But you have seen the evolvement, um, you know, from, we have our iconic products like the candy bag, the Metropolis, and then you see the, the evolution of the Metropolis on the strength of that coming out of the designs. But it is a very innovative brand. Um, it's quality, heritage, it's the DNA of the brand. Looking at, certainly as we've sold into 
all of our clients, this collection that we have here, we have seen a growth, um, and it's a growth at the moment that stands at virtually 20% for travel retail. And that is without having, you know, replenishment orders or new accounts opening. So we anticipate the same, if not a higher growth for 2018. We're very confident.